just want attention You don't want my heart, baby You've been creeping around on me While you're calling me is super exciting because it's about Thanksgiving. Yo, I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, you know, I didn't ask for daylight savings time to end. I'm also decorating my room into it being holiday themed. So again, I promise for my next video, better background, better lighting, better everything. I'm gonna be showing you guys some treat, drink, and decor ideas for throwing a Friendsgiving party. Or you can use this for any holiday. If you're hosting a family Thanksgiving at home or your family members are hosting it outside of your house, oh no doesn't have to be specifically with friends. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys want me to do more DIY party videos because I definitely will. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes slash thumbs ups. I know we can do this. It's just 100 thumbs ups. Come on guys. And before we get started, if you are new to my channel, then hi there. My name's Aliza. You guys should definitely hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification slash bell icon to be notified because I do post videos at least once a week and I am starting my holiday series soon so you guys don't want to miss out on that. Without further ado, let's just get into the video. The first DIY I'm going to share with you guys is this Thanksgiving punch that I found off of Pinterest. I feel like no party is complete without at least one Pinterest pin coming to life. So for this, all you're going to need is some apple cider, and I went with that brand. And then you're also going to need some Torani caramel syrup. I couldn't find any, so I went with this pumpkin caramel syrup from Skinny Syrups. But yeah, the recipe calls for Torani. And then you're also going to be needing some pumpkin pie spice. Now, I don't quite remember like the exact measurements of however much you're supposed to put in. So you guys can search up the pin on Pinterest if you want to. It's just called Thanksgiving Punch, but I'm kind of eyeballing everything. So here I just ended up putting the entire gallon of apple cider into my glass jar. And then I'm adding a little bit of syrup. Obviously you don't want to add the entire bottle. And then I'm also going to be adding some pumpkin spice and um, mixing everything together. You can add like sliced apples or some fruits into this if you want for decor but for the most part, it's pretty much done. Now I'm gonna share these chocolate covered Oreos with you guys. They're super easy to do and very festive. So for this, all you're going to need are some Oreo cookies as well as this Oreo cookie mold for chocolates. I got mine off of Amazon. And you're also gonna need either white chocolates or white candy melts or any color really. And then the decor is up to you. I'm using some edible glitter as well as these edible leaves that I got from Wilton and then I'm also going to be using some white sprinkles but again the decorations are completely up to you if you want to make it look like fall or match your theme. So first you're just going to melt your white chocolate or candy melt in the microwave and then you're just going to place a little bit of the chocolate into the molds. Um, you don't want to fill the molds up all the way. I go about halfway or a little more than half and then you're just going to take your tray and tap it against the counter just to spread out the chocolate and even and smooth it out and then you're just gonna take your Oreo cookie and press it down into the center make sure that it's not like all the way on top like it has to be in the mold and then you're gonna take some extra chocolate and cover the rest of the cookie in the mold and then once again you're gonna tap it and just go ahead and fill up the entire tray and once you're done with that you're just gonna place it into the refrigerator for about an hour or more just so that it hardens and then once it hardens it should look something like this and now you are free to decorate it however you want so again I just use these fall leaves that I got from Joanne's fabrics that are from the brand Wilton and then I used some glitter and some sprinkles and these are honestly so delicious and so fun to make now I'm going to move on to showing you guys some DIY decor ideas for your party. So the first thing that I'm actually going to show you guys how to make is this backdrop. It's super easy to do. So for this, all you're going to need are some paper fans. You can DIY this if you want with cardstock or construction paper, but I just got mine from Party City because I thought that it would be easier. So I just assembled mine and cut off the little tags. And then all you're going to do is get two white foam boards from Dollar Tree or anywhere really. And you're just going to take a glue gun and place your fans on 
the board and kind of just glue them like I did. I kind of just, you know, freestyled it and glued it and then attached it to the wall. And now for the banner, all you're going to need is some cardstock paper or glitter cardstock. I got mine from Michaels. And all you're going to do is use like a cutting machine if you have one like Cricut or Cameo to cut out the letters. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and trace them and cut it out if that's what you feel comfortable with. Um, but if you don't have either of those options available to you, there are a bunch of sites online and like especially on Etsy that do custom made banners. So you can order yours from there. And then the next step is just going to be to hole punch each of your glitter cardstock letters. And I'm doing two punches because I find that the letters like stay with that. And then you're just going to take some twine and loop it through the holes and go ahead and add in all of the letters and you're pretty much done. You just want to hang it up with tape or whatever you want to and you're done with that. And then I also added some extra like pumpkins um, for more of like a fall feel because it is like still fall. And that is pretty much it for this backdrop. Now I'm going to share with you guys these party favors are super easy to do and I love giving out favors for my parties. I don't know about you guys. So I got these brown bags from Michaels. They come in any color and again you can use any color that you want. Um, and then again you're going to be needing some um, construction paper or cardstock paper. It's up to you and you're going to be needing to use Cricut or like another cutting machine. That's how I cut out these gobble gobble and thankful AF like little card things um and then that's how i cut out these circle things but if you can do it by your hand go ahead you can honestly also just print something off of the internet and cut it out as a tag so you don't even need a cutting machine for this um but i use mine and i kind of just attached it onto each of the bags i kind of just stapled it onto the bags and um i thought it was super cute but yeah you can use like any thanksgiving quote that you want print it and then kind of staple it or attach it onto these brown bags and i think that they would still look cute Alright guys, so that was the video. I hope you liked it. If you happen to recreate any of this stuff, it doesn't have to be like Thanksgiving theme. Make sure to send me pictures on social media, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, because I love talking to you guys. It's literally like the highlights of my day. And I will see you in my next video, which is going to be a holiday video, so stay tuned for that.